Hello everyone. In this video, we will see continuation of interprocess communication. In last class, we have seen like how process communicates with each other about buffering and bounded buffer problem. Now we will see interprocess communication with shared memory and message passing. In shared memory, an area of memory is like a block of memory is shared between the process which are communicating. The communication will be under the control of user process but not with the control of operating system in the shared memory. Major issues to provide this mechanism is like user process to synchronize their action when the access, sh access of shared memory is issued. Since the user is or user process is responsible for communication of shared memory. Next is inter-process communication using message passing. Mechanism for process to communicate and synchronize their action is like by message system. There is a message system. The process communicate with each other without restoring to shared variable. IPC facility provides to operator like send message and receive message. The me message size what you are sending and received either fixed or fixed message passing method or variable message passing where the size of the message is not fixed. Next one is in the message passing we have direct communication. In the direct communication the process will send the message directly to the another process which is under communication. So the process must specify the address or the process ID and the message to which the process is sending the data. So here send P message. Send a message to the process P. In the receiving, the receiver message will receive like Q message. Receiver message from process Q. The properties of communication link is like link are established automa automatically from the process send and the process receive. A link is associated with exactly one pair of communication process. It can send one message and receive one message. The link will be broke down. Between each pair of there exists exactly one link. So if we have two process then which is sending and receiving there will be only one link established at a time. The link may be undirectional but usually sorry the link may be unidirectional it may only send from one side but usually it is like communication bidirectional links will be used in all the times next is indirect communication this can happen based on mailbox each mailbox will be having unique ids the process can communicate only if they share the mailbox consider like if we have process a b c sharing a mailbox then process A can send the data to B and C and B and C can send the data to other remaining process but the process B if it is not sharing the mailbox cannot send the or uh, communicate between the process A, B and C. The communication link will be established by the process shares a common mailbox like A, B, C will be sharing a common mailbox. A link may be associated with many process. Uh, like not only two and like direct communication multiple process can share one link each pair of process may share several communication links like a process a can be with communication with abc but the process a can also be a partner of any other mailbox that is also possible link may be unidirectional or bidirectional in indirect communication, operation is like creation of mailbox which is main thing, send and receive message through mailbox and then destroying the mailbox. In direct communication, only mechanism or operation was creating the link and deleting the link. Here, we have to create a mailbox, give allocate the process for it and then send receiving messages. It may be multiple messages, then destroy the mailbox. Primitives are defined as Primitives are similar like send a message with a to mailbox. Message is sent to mailbox a. Receive a mailbox 
where the message is received from a mailbox A instead of specifying which process is sending message to which processor. In indirect communication, like as I showed, told multiple processors like P1, P2, P3 can share a mailbox. So all the processor which is sharing the mailbox can receive the mail or the message. But the process will not be knowing who is getting the message and who is sending the message. Solution here is allow the link to be associated with, with at most two process at a time. Do not allocate mailbox to more than two processes at a time. Allow only one process at a time to execute receive option so that we can avoid ambiguity in the data. Allow the system to select attributely and receive a receiver. Sender is notified who the receiver was. Next comes synchronization. A message passing may be either blocking or non-blocking. Blocking is considered as synchronous and non-blocking non message is called as asynchronous. Blocking send is like the sender is blocked until the message is received and blocking receive means the receiver will be blocked until the message is available. This is what exactly we saw in the last class about producer consumer problem. Non-blocking means it is like the sender sends the message continuously and the receiver will receive the message without checking whether the sender is creating new data or not. A valid message will be transmitted if there is a data sent by the sender. If not, a null message will be received by the receiver. Different combinations is was possible like you have a blocked sender and non-blocked receiver, blocked receiver, non-blocked sender and so on. We call it as Pendulous. We have in the synchron with uh, help of synchronization, we can even uh, even customize our producer consumer problem where the message message next produce while to producer produce an item next produce send next produce based on send next produce. The consumer will be waiting for the functions next send next produce receiver will get a next receive consume the items and notify the producer. I hope you understood this topic. Thank you.